now let us uh, discuss one more problem problem from refraction of light through a glass prism uh, where the angle of the prism is uh, given as a is equal to 60 degree and a ray incident on the side a b at grazing angle of incidence means at angle of incidence 90 and it is also given on the other side the side a c the final ray the emergent ray is also uh, has a grazing angle of emergence means this E is also 90 that is what is given uh, for an equilateral prism angle 60 this B at angle B here is also 60 at angle C this angle is also 60 equilateral for an equilateral prism it is observed that when a ray strikes at grazing incidence on one face AB that is here with an angle of incidence 90 degree it emerges at a grazing emergence at the other face on the face AC it is also uh, leaving the surface making angle 90 with the with the normal therefore this angle is also called the grazing emergence now then we have to find out its refractive index so let us apply the second law of refraction on Snell's law here and we'll apply also here to this side is a rarer medium mu1 is equal to 1 either air or vacuum on this side also the same rarer medium mu1 is equal to 1 and the refractive index of the prism I have taken is at mu2 let it be mu so here if you apply the Snell's law sine of this angle over sine of this angle will be mu of this medium divided by mu of this medium so sine 90 over sine r1 is equal to mu 2 over mu 1 since mu 1 is taken as 1 being being air or vacuum and mu 2 is mu so mu over 1 is equal to mu uh, then let us come back to the point r here within this within the glass medium this is the angle of incidence therefore this is the angle of refraction so here also i'm applying if you come from this side taking the reversibility of light then sine 90 over sine r2 will be mu2 over mu1 if you watch from this side sine r2 over sine 90 will be mu1 over mu2 both way it is correct so sine 90 over sine r2 is equal to mu2 over mu1 that is mu so that is your second equation and uh, this is the same mu mu of the prism I uh, found out in two different ways applying Snell's law here and Snell's law here so let us make them equal so let us make equation 1 is equal to equation 2 because both represent the same refractive index mu of the glass prism so the right sides are equal so the left hand side so this will be equal to this so the left hand sides will also be equal so sine 90 over sine r1 it will be sine 90 over sine r2 so sine 90 sine 90 cancels if you cross multiply uh, you get sine r1 is equal to sine r2 and uh, <coughs> and uh, <coughs> uh, since uh, 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 now now look uh, why this r1 will be equal to r2 because uh, if you cross multiply these two sine r1 is sine r2 so if you take the sine inverse function on both sides so r1 is equal to r2 so it is let it be r since both are equal let me represent with the same symbol r and we know for a prism this angle a is always equal to this angle plus this angle that is a is always equal to r1 plus r2 therefore a is equal to r plus r that is 2r and since a is given as 60 so 2r is equal to 60 so r is equal to 30 since we have found out r uh, therefore either you apply the snell's law here or here to find out the mu so if you apply it here so sine 90 over sine r1 sine 90 over sine r1 sine 90 is 1 over r1 which is equal to r which is just found out as 30 degree 
So sine 30, sine 30 is 1 over 2, 2 comes to the numerator, so it becomes 2. So the refractive index of the glass prism is 2, is a good one. So thank you very much.